Okay, in this clip, we're going to be talking about the 2020 BC Broncos air conditioning. In this particular clip, it's going to pertain to the wiring. Uh, as you can see, there's quite a lot of wire here. It may look intimidating at first. It's not as bad as it seems. Once you lay everything out, uh, kind of lay it in where it would go, uh, it becomes very easy. There are only three ground connections, a keyed hot wire, a full-time battery, and an illumination wire that you have to deal with. Everything else is already pre-terminated uh, in a crimped connector. So uh, with that being said, there is, is quite a lot of extra wire, uh, but they're blunt ends. So if you need to run it through or around or under something, they may take more or less wire, so they give you quite a bit. Uh, I was able to remove that much wire from the kit. Basically, the white is all the grounds. Uh, the red is your full-time battery power. And then this one is for the air conditioning compressor clutch. Because I uh, already have another kit in process, uh, I have these bags to show you, but We've already laid the stuff in uh, and didn't make any connections yet so you can see what's going on. So this first bag here is your switch pack, which is the switch wiring and the switches and the generic um, stickers. So I've already mounted the switches in the dash. So this is what's left and this like I said, is a direct plug-in. It'll plug right into the computer. And then these snap onto the actual switches on the dash. Uh, this pack here is your thermostat uh, circuit breaker. Uh, as it, uh, if it gets overheated, it will trip, uh, but then it cools down and it resets itself automatically. This is your relay. And then this connection uh, goes to your computer as well. Uh, the uh, violet wire is the wire you're going to hook up to a keyed ignition source, and the tan wire is going to your illumination. So once you get the thing laid in there, uh, it becomes, like I said, pretty clear what's going on. So what we did is we ran the wiring through the firewall and mounted the relay at the top. And then as you look down here, this is the uh, connections we're gonna make ourselves. And see there is quite a lot of extra wire. What we normally do is uh, get it close and put a weather pack on it and then bring the wires from the dash to it. Uh, this other wire, like I said, that goes to the computer. This one is your uh, main ground and power and that will plug in right here to your motor itself so that's uh pretty simple like i said this uh that's just uh connect up when the dash goes in uh, so what we tell people to do is remove the bracket for the computer because we this is pretty tight in there uh, we prefer to put the computer somewhere more closer to uh, the dash uh, switches and that allows you to have less wire and, and stuff like that so uh, there's a zip tie coiling this up if you cut those three zip ties then this is free and you can move it around quite a bit there's actually a lot of a lot of extra wiring there so um, once once you've installed that uh, what we do like I said this is an 11 to 14 coyote so uh, not doing those as much because the motors are uh, just, they don't offer that at a crate anymore. So what we do is we tuck this up above the fuse relay center and then lay it right across. And then we'll just be able to make this connection, plug it right in there. So it'll get all tucked back in there and disappear. The um, next group, like I said, that's this wire. Basically we'll pull it out right about 
even with the dash and cut that off. Um, you'll notice there's a gray wire, a red wire, and a yellow wire. Those are not used. Uh, they're for future use. So we'll just tuck those up out of the way so we can just put that same thing, tuck that up in there. And then the wires that go to the computer, the this nice little computer connector, uh, that will, we'll just tuck this up here for now too. So everything is out of the way and then when we're ready, we can plug in the computer, mount it, and then plug these wires directly into it. Now this wire here, uh, what I'm gonna do is talk with Vintager and see if they offer the plug for your uh, heater control valve. That's all this real long group here. Uh, we only need about three inches uh, because where we're putting the uh, heater control valve on the Coyote, it, it, the wiring itself for that actually comes in the firewall. So we just need just a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna get with them and see if they offer a short version. If not, we will uh, provide the connectors so that you can cut them off and solder new ones on once you get your length set. So other than that, that's, that's it. It's pretty straightforward stuff. I'll walk you outside uh, and then we'll have a look at the connections on the engine side which is is real easy so